Hello everyone, Happy New Year, and in today I'm going to be showing you how you can download custom songs for Beat Saber. A few days ago I made a video explaining how you can download custom mods for Beat Saber on the Oculus and Steam, but I also got a lot of questions asking how you can download custom songs. Now, don't get me wrong, the OSTs and the songs that are already on Beat Saber are amazing, but after you play the same songs over and over again, it gets a little repetitive. So you want to try and find more songs that you want to play. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do that, how you can get custom songs for Oculus and Steam VR. Before we get into the tutorial, I just want to say, if this is your first video that you've seen from my channel, consider subscribing, it's free, and I make a whole bunch of Beat Saber content just like this. I make tutorial videos, custom songs, and a whole bunch of other content as well. Hopefully this video is helpful, and if you still have any other questions after the video, just leave a comment below and I'll try my best to reply to as many as I can. Alright, so to first start off this tutorial, you're either going to need to have Beat Saber installed on Steam VR or the Oculus Link software on your PC. For Oculus users, you are going to have to use the PC version of Beat Saber on the Oculus software. You can't use the Oculus app on your phone or the Beat Saber version that's specifically just for the headset itself. You're going to need either a link cable or connect it with AirLink through your headset to your PC in order for Oculus Beat Saber to run. If you don't know what Oculus Link is, all you need to do is just go up into a search bar and search Oculus Link Download. So just type that in, go to the first link on the page right here. It'll open up a new window that says get started in VR. This is the Oculus page where you can download the software for whatever kind of headset you have. So if you have the Oculus Quest, the Rift S or the uh, Quest 2, you can download the PC app right here. All you need to do is just press download Quest 2 PC app. It'll start downloading on the bottom left corner of the screen. And once it is done downloading, all you need to do is just make the tab smaller, drag it out onto your desktop, open it up, and this Oculus page will open. I already have it installed up here, but if this is your first time installing it, you're probably going to need to sign into your Facebook or Oculus account, whatever you have signed into your headset, and then connect your headset to the PC. The way that I connect my headset is by using a cable that plugs into my PC and to my headset. If you guys need a cable to plug into your PC and your headset, I'll have a link in the description to an Amazon link for a cable. Once you're signed into your account and you have your Oculus headset connected, the Oculus software will open up and take you to its homepage. Here you can see all the games that you have and if you look to the left, you'll see the tab where you have your library of games that you have. If you don't have Beat Saber on your PC on the Oculus, all you need to do is just go to store and look up Beat Saber. Right there, it'll load up and all you need to do is just purchase it and download it onto the PC. So there you go, step one is done. You need to make sure you have Beat Saber either on Steam VR or Oculus Link. Next, we're going to want to find our Beat Saber install folder. There's going to be two locations, one for Steam VR and one for Oculus. I'll have them on the screen right now so you can take those file paths to your Beat Saber install folder. Reading the comments from the last video, it seems like a lot of you have an Oculus, so I'm going to be using the Oculus file path. So for Oculus, all you need to do is open up Program Files, go to the Oculus folder, open that up, Software, Software again, and this is where all of your game files are going to be. You can see right here, this is your Beat Saber install folder. Open this up, and this is where you're going to want to be for your custom songs and everything for Beat Saber. If we go up to the first folder that says Beat Saber Data and open that up, the first two folders that we see in this are custom levels and custom work in progress levels. We're not going to touch the work in progress levels folder. If you make maps or are planning to make maps, you will use this folder eventually, but the folder that we're going to want to focus on is the custom levels folder. If we open this up, you can see this is where all of our files are going to go for custom songs. Whenever you have a song that you want to download for Beat Saber, all you need to do is just put in the song file into your custom levels folder. Now, how do we find the songs that we want for Beat Saber? Alright, so for step three, after finding our Beat Saber install folder and looking for the folder where our songs are going to go, go back into any type of browser and look up Beat Saber with a V. 
it might say, did you mean Beat Saber? But we are looking for this link, the first one that says Beat Saber Home. Now what this page is, it's going to open up and this is where all of the community's songs are going to be. You can take a scroll through the home page. There's a bunch of filters that you can turn on and the date of when a song is released. And you can see right here, these are all the songs that the community has made. It shows you how long ago they were made. So this one was made two hours ago. If you scroll all the way down, you can see songs that were made from two days ago and just keep on going from there. So if you don't see a song that you want to download on the home page, what you can do is go to the search bar and type in the name of the song that you want to play. So let's say I want to download Enemy from Imagine Dragons. I type in Enemy and it'll show up all the results for Enemy. This is the one that I would want to download, but it also does give you a bunch of different options as well. I'm going to go to my page for this example. You can see right here, these are all the songs that I have made for Beat Saber and every single one of these songs are downloadable for you to play and put into Beat Saber. Now the way we actually go about doing that is by looking at these blue icons over here. Once you found the song that you want to download for Beat Saber, there are actually two ways where you can download the song. One by either downloading the zip file or just one click, which I'll get back to later, but right now I'm going to focus on download zip. So make sure you still have your Beat Saber install folder open with the custom levels folder right there because this is where we're going to put the files. Once you have the song, just press the little download zip icon and it will start downloading on the bottom left corner of your screen. Once the zip file is on your desktop, just right click and press extract here smart. Yours might be a little different if you're using a different kind of zipping software, but either way you're going to want to extract all the files in the zip and put them into an open file. So for me, I'm going to press extract here smart. And what that will do is take all of the information in this and put that into an open file. Once we have the open file with all of our information, go back to our Beat Saber install folder, go to our custom levels folder, open that up, and then just drag in the custom song folder into here. Now you can see this song is part of all the hundreds of songs that I have on my custom playlist. Say you want to download another song, all you need to do is just repeat the steps. So find the song that you want, press the download zip button, and it'll start downloading on the bottom left corner of your screen. Once it's done downloading, just make the tab smaller and drag the zip file onto your desktop. You can close down the tab. Right click on the zip file, extract here smart, press that, and it will move all of the info from the zip file into an open file. Go to your Beat Saber install folder, go to your custom levels folder, open that up, and then just drag in this file into the custom songs folder. So there you go, that is how you can download custom songs by using zip files. Now I'm going to be going over how you can download them by using one click. This does involve mods, so if you haven't already, take a look back at my previous video explaining how mods work, because this method is going to be using Mod Assistant. If you don't already have Mod Assistant, just open up a new tab, type in Mod Assistant, and click on the first link. It should open up this GitHub page, scroll down to this big Mod Assistant logo, press download here, scroll down, and click the modassistant.exe. That will start downloading right down here. Once it's done downloading, just drag it onto your desktop and open the program. If this is your first time using Mod Assistant, it will ask you for your Beat Saber install folder. So if you need to, just go through the path again and make sure it is connected with Mod Assistant. Once Mod Assistant is open, it will take you to this welcome page. Press I agree, and now you are able to use the Mods tab. Again, I used the Mods tab in my previous video. If you want to learn more about Mods and Mod Assistant, just watch that video. I promise it's going to be worth the while in case you want to download Mods again for future Beat Saber updates. So we're not going to focus on the Mods tab today. The tab that we're going to be focusing on is the Options tab. You can see right here it has all of our settings from our install folder. Uh, for me, it's the Oculus and even our themes for the program. But the main area we're going to want to focus in this tab is enable one click and show one click installer window. Basically what one click allows you to do is if you are in Beat Saver and press this little icon right here, it'll just automatically 
put the song into your Beat Saber song folder. So you won't have to download the zip, extract it, and then manually put it in. All you need to do is just click this once and it will download into your files. We're first gonna wanna enable one click though. So just go up into this box right here, click on that and check off Beat Saver. It will open up this little page, just press yes. And one click is now installed on our PC. This little box right here, the show one click installer window, it basically shows you the installation of the song. I've always had it to yes and I would recommend putting it on yes so you can see the installation when it starts and when it's finished downloading. So once you enabled one click and put this to yes, you are now able to use one click in Beat Saver. So go back into Beat Saver, choose a song that you want to download and just press the one click icon where that song is. It'll start downloading by opening this Mod Assistant page. Right here it says it's installing. So it, it might take a little bit depending on how big the files are for the song. If it has a bunch of difficulties, it might take a little bit longer than usual. But the song is now done installing onto our Beat Saber custom songs folder. And when we open up Beat Saber, you'll be able to see it in our custom songs tab. All right, so I am now opening up Beat Saber with all my custom songs enabled and installed. Uh, you can see right there, 300, over 300 songs loaded. I don't know why there's a playlist loaded, but uh, you can see, so you can see right here in Beat Saber, this is our custom levels page, and you can see all of our levels that we downloaded are now on Beat Saber, ready to be played. You can see all the stats over here. You have all the difficulties, practice, and everything like normal Beat Saber but just with custom songs. So there you go guys, that is how you can download custom songs for Beat Saber on Oculus Link or Steam VR. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. I will try my best to reply to as many as I can. And if this video was helpful, consider subscribing. I have a whole bunch of Beat Saber content on my channel, videos like this one, tutorial videos, how to mod, and also just custom songs as well. So there you go guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!